the back rooms. You've been here before. Object number 50, Void Stone. Object 50, otherwise known as Void Stone, is an infinitely strong, perfectly black, and immovable material that is prevalent within the back rooms. It is found buried within the walls, floors, and ceilings in a number of the levels, and is what prevents the millions of square kilometers of rooms from caving in. It can also be used as an infinite source of energy, and is known to provide power in most of the levels. Image Caption Void stone exposed in a wall on level 1 after explosives were detonated. Description Void stone is indestructible. It never bends, cracks, degrades, or deforms, and no matter how much force is applied to it, it does not move. This behavior is similar to how the prison bars in level 3, electrical station, or the tiles in level 37, sublimity, act. All visible light that hits void stone is absorbed. All surfaces of void stone have the same perfect black color regardless of the viewing angle, making it impossible to discern corners or edges. Thus, samples of void stone look two dimensional. Other forms of electromagnetic radiation, such as X rays, will also be absorbed. However, microwaves and radio waves are able to pass through. This allows Wi-Fi to penetrate through walls. Despite absorbing all light that hits it, it will never heat up. Voidstone is a thermal energy reservoir. Note, see the Wikipedia article on thermal reservoirs. A substance with a heat capacity so large that it will never change temperature no matter how much heat it absorbs or releases. A block of Voidstone at 0 degrees Celsius will stay at 0 degrees Celsius, even surrounded by fire. A block of void stone at 100 degrees Celsius will stay at 100 degrees Celsius, even if surrounded by ice. In some locations, void stone has been found at temperatures of hundreds of degrees, hot enough that it glows red hot. Analyzing the light emitted through an optical spectrometer shows that void stone glows with a perfect black body spectrum. Note, see the Wikipedia article on black bodies. The surfaces of void stone are frictionless. If not for air resistance, it would be possible to slide upon its surfaces indefinitely. This also makes it impossible to walk or stand on void stone. Void stone is a perfect electric insulator, is hydrophobic, and does not allow air to pass through. It does not interact with gravity and will levitate stationarily if not supported by anything. Prevalence Voidstone is abundant and can be found in many levels, providing structural support to the level's rooms. It also serves as a barrier between the exterior of the levels and the blue channel. After digging a few meters through the surface level materials, void stone surfaces will be encountered. The surrounding concrete may also be reinforced with rebar made from void stone. If this concrete is dug out, what gets left behind are floating void stone rods. It is unclear how void stone rebar was able to embed itself into concrete given that it is unmovable. However, this rebar has been there as long as records date back. Whatever created the back rooms to begin with may be able to manipulate void stone and create this rebar. It is important to note that not all walls contain void stone, so some walls can be tunneled through. Likewise, void stone is not present on all levels. As the source of Wi Fi has not yet been discovered, it is speculated that the source of Wi Fi is located behind the void stone walls out of reach of any human. Lights and machines within the levels continually produce heat. If there was nowhere for the heat to go, the rooms would heat up to hundreds of degrees. The void stone serves as a heat reservoir, absorbing excess heat, keeping the levels at a stable temperature. The temperature of the void stone varies between levels. For instance, the void stone in level 115, Frozen Dream, is negative 10 degrees Celsius. 
and the void stone in level 3, electrical station, is 18 degrees Celsius. Rooms with equipment, such as boilers or heaters, can be significantly hotter than the surrounding void stone base walls, analogous to how the interior of a house with a heater can be significantly warmer than the outside. An infographic illustrating Voidstone's presence in levels is shown below. A cross-section of level 0 is given as an example. Image Caption Cross-section of level 0, demonstrating the presence of Voidstone within the level. Voidstone is rarely naturally exposed. If it is seen, then it almost certainly once had material covering it, which was removed artificially. Naming. Over the centuries, the various groups within the backrooms referred to void stone by different names. This presumably includes the lost, but there are currently no known references to void stone in recovered documentation. The first recorded use of the word void stone was in 1952 in a diary of someone who later became a founding member of the Aiding Stragglers. The term was used by Aiding Stragglers members, and its usage spread from there. No matter how hard I try, I can't get out of this vile place. The further I walk, the more dangerous it gets, and I've tried smashing down the walls and floors with some pickaxes I found in these crates. But all that happens is that I open a hole into some kind of void, except it's not a void, it's just some slippery black stone. Void stone, I guess? And try breaking that too, but when my pickaxe does not slip, my pick just shatters. Practical Applications Void stone can be a nuisance as it limits how far walls can be tunneled through. However, wanderers have found ways to make use of it. Infinite Source of Energy as void stone does not change in temperature when heat is removed, an infinite amount of heat energy can be extracted. Buried deep down beneath the surface walls and ceilings in some levels, cubic cavities have been discovered with exposed void stone walls. One of these walls will have a temperature above 100 degrees Celsius, and the wall on the opposite end will be below 0 degrees Celsius. Thermoelectric generators devices that convert heat directly into energy, will appear in these cavities. Conducting copper rods extend out from the generators and are pushed against the two void stone walls, generating electricity from the temperature differential between the walls. Wires from these generators spread the electricity to lights and other equipment. After several decades of measurements, these walls have no measurable change in temperature. How these walls got to abnormally high and low temperatures to begin with is not known. Various groups have constructed their own generators that extract energy from this source. Mode of Transportation As void stone is frictionless, sliding objects across it is a fuel-efficient way of transporting people and goods. In principle, a vacuum chamber with a void stone floor could allow cargo to slide forever without propulsion. However, there are some technical limitations that have limited the usage of void stone for this purpose. To access the void stone base floor, meters of surface level flooring need to be dug through. There may be void stone rebar, which is irremovable, leaving behind floating bars. It limits the height of vehicles as vehicles that are too high will crash into these bars. Wheels do not work on frictionless surfaces, so some other, less convenient means of speeding up and slowing down vehicles is required, such as using linear induction motors, thrusters, or having wheels on the sides of the vehicles to push against walls. It is important for vehicles to be able to speed up and slow down easily to make their way through the twisted corridors. For this reason, void stone tracks have not been heavily used, which is also why the BNTG chose to construct train tracks instead in Level 2, Abandoned Utility Halls. However, the MEG has built an experimental